Hi, my name is Christopher Wong. I'm the director and producer of a documentary film called Whatever It Takes. The Whatever It Takes is a film about an amazing Asian American principal who goes um, to the South Bronx to start a new school. Uh, so basically we just follow him during his first year. Uh, he's a rookie principal. All of the students are mainly black and Hispanic and you know, kind of we uh, just explore the different struggles, the struggles and triumphs that he goes through uh, through his first year. Yeah, uh, I discovered this documentary story because uh, the principal of the school, the main character, uh, was a very, very good friend for a long time, and he used to be working in the in the fashion industry for Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, and his his main goal was to make a million dollars before he's thirty, and uh, back then a million dollars was still a lot of money, um, and retire, and you know just basically live a life of luxury. And then he had kind of this big spiritual epiphany where he um, said that he wanted to devote his life to teaching kids, and specifically kids in the inner city where he kind of grew up himself. And so he goes back as a teacher, he has wonderful success, and because um, I knew him in New York, uh, I decided to document this, this huge change and see what was his life going to be like now that he'd given up all of his past dreams and what were his new dreams going to be like. And so he gave me complete access to the school and the students and everything. Uh, because we were friends before. Actually, the, um, in Whatever It Takes, we have a, an animated section which, which shows how, uh, how Ed had his spiritual epiphany. Uh, and it doesn't come across you know, in, in one day and just hit you. I think it's, uh, uh, it's a process that happens over you know, months and years. And at one point, you finally are ready to, to make that, that leap. Um, to make that sacrifice. And for Ed, it was, um, you know, it was when he was talking with his wife, and his, his wife was really challenging him, hey, you know, do something that you love. Don't just do something that makes money. And I think, you know, with a lot of people, it takes kind of a good woman uh, to, to push us forward and, and do what we should do. There is, what inspired me to make this film was really the, the main character of, of Ed Tom. Um, I think there are two reasons. One is a very personal reason. Uh, I used to be in banking uh, and I hated it. It was very soul crushing and I felt like I needed to find something that really would suit my passion and that happened to be documentary filmmaking. And when I saw uh, my close friend do the same thing, give up his, his former dreams for what really he was passionate about, I said this is something that's worth documenting. The second reason is because I feel like my friend is uh, he kind of breaks the mold of Asian American men, or how Asian American men are perceived to be in the media, which is usually uh, weak, effeminate, techno geeks, or sometimes you know kung fu masters, but those who never get the girl in the end. And I felt here's a chance to show a strong Asian American man doing something not just for the Asian American community, but for the community at large, um, and being um, just kind of the the best leader that you could ever ever hope for. And I think this is the kind of um, uh, portrait of Asian American men that we need in, in the media. And so that really drove me to, to make this project. I feel like the Asian American, the, I feel like the perception of the Asian American man is, uh, is changing, and it's changing for the better, but it's still stuck. Uh, you know, the progress is very slow. Uh, even if you look today, uh, you'll see a few stars that are breaking out. Uh, in terms of like the fiction, fiction world. Uh, but still, the, the main people who are still um, managed to make a presence in the media are still fitting those stereotypes of uh, weak and um, just uh, kung fu masters. And so I, I think it's, it, it's too slow for me. I, I would prefer the change to be much, much faster. And so this film is kind of my way of, of getting out there fast. Um, this is my first feature length documentary, and so what I learned really was how to make a film, how to craft a story. It's not just shooting, it's not just editing, it's really finding the core of, of your character's hearts and, and their visions and their dreams. Um, and that's something that I, you know, just basically, this is basically my, uh, my film school making this documentary. Uh, having said that, you know, I, I, before I made it, I really made sure I practiced my craft. Uh, so that I, I would ha I'd be in a position to really explore the characters' lives. But um, I feel like uh, you know, I, I established myself in my career by making this film.
it because it taught me so much. Yeah, when I shot Whatever It Takes, I, I had an idea of what things that might happen. But of course, with documentary film, uh, usually those ideas get smashed into you know, a thousand pieces. I thought there would be a lot of racial conflict. I thought some of the uh, parents and students would be a bit resentful of an Asian American man coming in and being so strong and telling them what to do. Um, and that didn't happen at all. They felt like Principal Ed Tom was one of them. You know, he came from um, a background very similar to them. Uh, he lived in a neighborhood that was you know, very close by. Uh, and you know, there was no racial conflict at all, uh, which was great. Uh, but the, the basic narrative thread of following this school over one year, I did, I did do that. Uh, some people suggested, hey, you, you should tell the this, this school story of over four years. Well, we didn't have the money for that, but um, we, definitely, uh, we definitely found a, a, a good thread to say, this is a way to tell a story that, that shows, is the school kind of going on an upward trajectory, or is it going downhill? And luckily for us, uh, things turned out pretty well. Uh, for whatever it takes, we absolutely had no budget um, to, to speak of. And, uh, I am so, so grateful to the Center for Asian American Media for coming in with uh, a lot of money at, at key times. Um, we shot for uh, one year, that was principal photography, just at the school. We went back another one and a half years just to, occasionally just to shoot some B-roll and to shoot some um, more of the characters' home stories. And then we edited for nearly two years. So the whole process was really about four years. Um, and that seems to be the, the normal life of a documentary film because you need that much time to really get into uh, who the character is.